Okay. Let's try that again. I... I should be able to pull this off. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to do? We don't have a whole lot of stats. We need a weapon. So let's go gold... Gold relic... Or gold stats, relic, weapon, money, money. That seems reasonable. And more items of better quality. I think that's what I kind of want here. Because that last run was okay. But... So much of this game is kind of built around getting... Kind of putting your combo together. As opposed to really leveraging it once you already have it. Like, once you've got the combo, you're all good. I I really got to do a bow run at some point, but I just... I'm not feeling ranged combat in this game. I kind of am. There are definitely moments where it's decent, but... It's really meant to be up close and personal. Not backseating, but you need a whip. And for that, I'm not going to pick up a whip for the rest of the day. Mainly also because I already used a whip to great effect and I want to try new things. But also anytime anybody ever says not backseating, but it's like, ah. Uh... I know you're just probably joking, but boy, it's, it's sarcasm is dead on the internet. It always has been. The only time I actually respond to uh, somebody being sarcastic as though they're being sarcastic is specifically when they, uh, they do the sarcasm tags. Yeah, I think what we needed was just a big hammer. Okay, what do you got? Money and... I'll take it just because. Not backseating, but I enjoy your content. Thank you. I think you also have to realize just how much of a, like, uh, frustration I have with the concept of backseating and just the action of it. Because, uh, like, it is, it is ever-present and I talk about it way too often. And so I'm trying to, like, not talk about it as much um, because I know it annoys people that I do but like I think it is like the number one thing I have to deal with I actually can't watch other streamers that often because many of them their their entire audience is just dropping information left and right and so like I get it, and I can appreciate, you know, wanting that kind of thing, but, like, from my own perspective, that just feels stressful. Especially because, like, I am a terrible backseater. Uh, it's part of the reason, I think, why I'm so kind of vehement against it, because it's kind of an overcompensation in trying to control my own person personality. Uh, that if I create an environment where... Uh, it doesn't happen casually, I almost denormalize it. Alright, sure. I'll take it. And the four free stats is kind of nice. Ugh. It's not bad. I was just really hoping I could hit him with the hammer or the great sword before he started zapping me. Alas, it's a game by game thing. I, I think it just boils down to kind of what we were talking about earlier. I uh, <laughs> with. I, I mean, I guess people backseating my diet? Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, without, like, any context or even uh, thinking too hard. It's, it's one of those that, like, I get so much unsolicited information that I've just, I have negative con uh, connotations with all of it. That... I really should try going straight at some point with one of these runs. Just because. Ooh. Lightning attacks. Bonus per constitution? Or, it's not a very good weapon anyway. Let's burn it and get the constitution. Anything that gives me permanent stats is usually worth it in my end. Ow. Let's see, what do I consider backseating? I'm telling you how to play, advice, 
information that was not asked for, uh, suggestions, helpful or otherwise. Uh, let's see, plans, directions, uh, gosh. Like, the list goes on and on. But it's effectively... Yeah, I, I need to make a... Ooh, 10% of crit, crit damage dealt heals you. That's really good. Yeah, let's pick that up. Okay, now we got to find some weapons that have common crits. If I can pick them up. What's your favorite temple? Or at least temple style in this game. I I like the first temple. It just feels that much more balanced. Spoilers. Spoilers is... I would actually say spoilers is like the... Car, the... The ultimate sin of backseating. When somebody actually spoils something. I think part of it is for me... So many of the games that I play are mechanical. That I cannot help but perceive... Uh, backseating as uh, a turn a style of mechanical spoiling oh right this is just the dark torch thing that I've got going on ow okay that did hit me that give me a... I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. On we go. Okay. Perfect dodges trigger a volley of projectiles. It's tempting. Let's use favor. I want to find something that has crit. That's a good whip, but we literally just had that whip. Here we go. Sure, I'll do it. Backseating is bad in competitive games. Yep. It's part of the reason why I never actually got into team fight as much as the rest of the wholesome verse is that uh, when I was streaming it, I was big enough that I would actually get people to uh, I, I was big enough that I would actually get... Uh, that I'd actually get people to show up and try and give me information. But it was very much like unsolicited and very angry when I said no. Let's go straight this time. Ow! Note to self, do that with a full stamina bar. I might actually have to parry that one. Or... Just delete the statues. There we go. Problem solved. Now you can't harm me. Got weird statue trust issues. Alright, come for me. That's the stuff. It's not that much HP. I'll have to find something that uh, crits better than this. Alright. Now, unfortunately, this weapon is pretty trash. That said, if we can get the relic that actually... Nope, that's bad. If we can get the relic that doubles my healing, that'd be super nice. Let's see, what run have you not tried yet, but seen the scaffolding for? Ooh, interesting question. I still feel like I haven't done a really good poison run. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the gold. That's better than what I've got, but... 
felt like it was the best relic I've seen so far. Small amounts of heal constantly. That's amazing. I like the relic that gives you, uh... That gives you HP every time you go through a door. That one's stupid good. Okay. Main weapon? Nope. Give me the HP. Holy shit, I picked up a lot of constitution. Oh, right, because I have a number of items that boost it. But yeah, if, if I had this... If I had this Healy Relic on that last win, I would be maybe not fully unstoppable, but it would be pretty unstoppable. I swear there was also something about heals on greed kills. That I would love to pick up. Okay, extra damage for heavy weapons. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that just so my greatsword is oomphy. Yeah, I gotta I gotta think about builds that I haven't tried yet. Mainly because we're only what X number of runs into this. I guess I haven't really had the opportunity to sit down and formulate a wish list. Oh, that didn't count as a perfect dodge. Rude. Well... I guess I should wait until I have enough stamina. Okay. I feel like this boss is the boss that is least mechanically supported by, like, Curse of the Dead Gods. It... It just feels like a boss that almost belongs in a different game. There's... I don't think I can parry this boss. And I'm not even sure if I can perfect dodge. I can absolutely do a damage list, but I think that's almost in spite of the mechanics, as opposed to because of the mechanics. But I guess it's mostly just maneuvering is a skill in this game. It's not a skill that is highlighted as aggressively. Wait, what? Uh... There we go. It's not as, uh, highlighted as aggressively as, uh, you know, parrying perfect dodges and so on, so on and so forth. That's a good one. That's also a good one. Bonus all healing effects. Also a good one. I like the flat perception, but this is worth it. What about this one? Now let's go for the constitution. And restore some health. Okay. So, looking at this, 10% of the crit damage heals you. Bonus damage to heavy weapons, bonus damage based on how much money I'm carrying around, even more on heavy weapons, and double all healing effects. So we're going to find a heavy weapon that crits constantly. A uh, spear would be very good. And then we'll be in business. Let's go stats, relic, weapon, stats, money, money. Gonna be playing the Isaac expansion. I probably will. I I'm not that passionate about it anymore. I feel like Binding of Isaac is such a fantastic roguelike that It's bloated under its own weight. And I think I've found other roguelikes that fit my flavor better. That... 
you know, back in the day when Binding of Isaac was one of, what, three roguelikes on the market, uh, I think it was a lot easier to be uh, super into it. But, like, nowadays, if I think between, like, would I rather do a Binding of Isaac run or would I prefer to play more Curse of the Dead Gods or Slay the Spire or Dicey Dungeons or a lot of other ones, um, that... You know, at this point, it's hard for me to say, yeah, I'd actually like to do Binding of Isaac, comparatively. That isn't to say Binding of Isaac is is bad. I think it's just, I, I've grown past it, and it has been around so long that I've become immune to the hype. I'm glad for people that still really enjoy the game. I will probably still get a number of runs out of it, but it's just like... I don't know. It's just kind of what it is. I spoil being spoiled for choice constantly is such a huge thing, on like a a mental and okay, on a mental and just like uh, do we go left? Let's go left. I always go left. I don't know why. Even if you aren't a content creator, it's really hard to find time to play a lot of games these days. Yeah, and maybe part of it is. I don't like unlocking things in Isaac. That's a commitment. And that's a commitment that I honestly don't think I can make. Let's see. Heavy weapons can smash traps, right? I don't know if it can smash the big central orbs. I know it can smash the, the statues, but I've never tested with the spinny orb things. Thanks, Wander, for telling me about Diablo 2 Resurrected. Hey, no problem. Oh, ow. Okay, stay away from that. Stay away from that. I'm definitely keeping my HP up here. Whoops. Too little. Got him. Unfortunately, that doesn't count as a crit, which is a bit of a letdown, but that's okay. Hello, bonus constitution? No, let's just heal. Okay. Max health and treasure? Fine. Hell yeah. The path this path is in your opinion is weird. The bosses are the easiest, but the enemies are by far the most painful. They're faster. Uh, they're faster, they're more aggressive, and they're harder to avoid. The Panther Path has the easiest to avoid enemies. I do not like that one. Gold Puncture sucks. I'll have to get rid of that one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess, speaking of becoming immune to games and the hype. Oops. I think it's that specific reason that I'm like, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, but some part of me is just kind of like, I'll get to it when I get to it. That if it turns out to be bad, it's like, literally no skin off my back uh because all i have to do is just go off and play another one plus there's like a shit ton of other great diablo likes out there that you know what if diablo 2 resurrected turns out to be stinky uh warcraft 3 regurgitated that uh you know round two then i'm not gonna feel bad about it and if it turns out to actually be great then I will be a happy camper. Whereas conversely, uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged, there's nothing else like it. There's not a whole lot of RTSs on the market, and I, I want more. And so I think that one hit a little harder. Can I, can I break these? Oh, I can. Cool. 
Yeah, the the thing that made uh whoops that made Reforge hit harder is because there's Boy that hurt. I mean it's ultimately fine, we'll heal after this, but that's a lot of shock traps. Uh but yeah, it just hurt because I am waiting for StarCraft 3, Warcraft 4, some kind of new RTS with uh with custom maps and whatnot to really take the uh the throne again. Because yeah, there's there's nothing else out there that really competes. Like I know uh a year of rain was kind of trying, but I think they were trying to go for the competitive market. I really don't know. Well, no, I guess I know why people, why RTS developers are trying to go for the competitive scene, because that's what keeps the game alive year after year. But, I don't know. I'm waiting. What about Grey Goo? Eh, what about it? Grey Goo was okay. Temple's Heart, regain 12% of max health whenever you pass through a door. That one's real good for healing. Greek kill removing corruption would be nice, but I'm not actually sitting on a whole lot of corruption here. I guess the question is, do... yes. Yeah, let's go for Temple's Heart. That 7 dexterity is 35% damage increase across the board, which is worth it. Okay, let's go for weapons, because i got to find a new heavy weapon. Okay, what are you? Dexterity? No. I really don't use this parry enough. I actually might want to look into parries. as a heavy weapons user. Okay, this sucks. You suck. I think we'll overall be fine. Because I'll definitely heal. The biggest, the biggest hurt there was purely just the, uh, it was purely just the bonus corruption from being tethered by two dudes for a second. All right. Uh, sure. Why not? Time to get curses hack. That's a dangerous one. It is. We'll see how this goes. That said, I've got a lot of healing bonuses, so maybe I'll be fine. Maybe I won't be. What happens if you get to the fifth stage of corruption? It gets bad. I believe your H... It used to be that your HP would just tick down periodically until you died. Okay, so this one's real risky. Let's see. Now let's just gain the perception. I am just getting blasted here. It's okay. That room was kind of rough. I really need to start hitting the uh, eagle statues. I keep forgetting that I can actually break them. But yeah, let's let's see if we can chase a number of relics that boost my healing tremendously. Man, what the hell? <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Let's just let that guy heal for a second. Get over here. Gain some dex. I guess that's the other thing I should be doing. Considering everything, I should be parrying these guys. Because dodging a... Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's actually the secret to the Eagle Temple. Is parrying. What's the lore of this game? There is no lore. At least to my knowledge, there is no lore. Okay. It hurts. But that's okay. Yeah, I think I think parries are the the actual just answer to this dungeon. Uh, let's see. Let's let's just go for the health. My biggest weakness is the fact that I take double damage. My biggest benefit. What's the other benefit on this one? Thirty percent base damage per other cursed weapon equipped. Chances of me finding more cursed weapons are kind of low. We'll see how this goes. I wonder if you could break reward shrines. To my knowledge, you can't, but that would actually be kind of interesting. I think the point is offering blood is breaking them. Yep. I cracked the code on this dungeon. Obviously, I gotta get better at parrying, but parrying is the is the answer. It also gets you two pips of stamina back, which is incredibly good. Let's see. Wonder any older game you want to see come back? Dragon Warrior Monsters. Uh. Not exactly an older game, but, uh... Dragon... Dragon Warrior Builders 2? I guess Dragon Quest. Sorry, used to be called Dragon Warrior. Get away from that for a second. I'm trying to think of some other ones. The thing is, ultimately... I love me some indie games way more than I love... Oops. That's the one that I can't avoid. Oof. But that's fine. The Dragon Warrior sounds cooler. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Alas. It's okay. Oof. Aya, did you miss? How did I still miss? Kill it! Break the statue! It, like, whiffed my sword through that, like, seven billion times for some reason. Okay. I think that's all of it. Uh, let's see. What was I talking about? Anyway, uh, so for, like, older games that I want to see come back... It's less that I want to see older games that come back. I want to see older approaches and ideas. Because uh, realistically, there's only a handful of games that I re really feel like were truly underserved. Um, I'm trying to think of which one specifically. Uh, ooh, 4% base damage. Now nah, let's go for the con. I just need to be tank man. You're much better at pairing than me. Have you been under the effects of Final Curse yet? Uh, back in early access, so I actually have no idea if it, it's still the same now. I'm assuming it's still the same thing that it used to be. I'm loving all these free stats. The extra drop quality is huge. I 
I am so glad I can just destroy those. Alright, anything else here? Not really. What other games would be good? I want to see Cavern Kings get finished. I doubt it'll ever happen. But that's... That's one of those, like, OG roguelikes that I got really big on for a while that I just absolutely adored. Whoops. I guess I have a really annoyingly long wind-up. That's okay. Oh, right. That was something I was going to do in the options. I keep forgetting to do this. Oh, yeah, go figure. I'm going to turn this down, like, a lot. I love how punchy the sound effects are. But it is very loud. And very screechy. Now, do I go for the gold or do I go for the... Ah, let's go for the secret. I don't actually think there's much of a bias between one... Uh, secrets or not. Ow. That's some corruption there. Okay. Ooh, 30% crit damage? Nah. And we also have a sky hammer. But I will just continue to gain perception here. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Okay, so three dexterity and 36% uh, all healing effects. I'm just going to stack that until I can heal myself uh, to full. Whoops. This ain't going to be fun. Oh man, what other what other older things do I want? I I think once again, going back to the idea of being spoiled for choice is that it's very hard for me to wanna miss older games that like never had a follow through. Uh oh wow, what's another one? World of Final Fantasy. I would love to see a second one of those. I'm not actually sure if Square Enix will ever do it, but I thought it was such a a lovely concept and a really fresh take on um Like an incredibly fresh take. Oops. On. I'm not actually sure what hit me there. There's probably more lightning. Oh! There we go. Oh, I heal plenty. Uh, let's see. I thought it was just a really fresh take on Monster Collection. It was weird, and, like, I can understand why people didn't like it. But from my own perspective, it was fun to play. Gene Forge 1, Gene Forge 1 got a remake with Mutagen. I saw that. Ooh, eh, ooh, that's kind of good. I still have mixed feelings on whether or not I like this one. We got maybe a little overcursed here. This guy actually doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Which is odd? Okay. So, I can parry his charge. I'm pretty sure I can't parry any of the ground AoEs. But I can parry his charge at the very least. Which is pretty big. Okay, that hurts. Still kind of a non-issue for me. I'm just going to keep practicing my parries. We'll get rid of the stamina reduction, just because that one's way too dangerous on my end. Okay. Huh! 
That was a bit tragic. I I parried and weakened him for a moment. And then it was gone. Unfortunately, I think the charge is actually considered a... Uh, it's considered a ranged attack, so I can't actually hit him with a weaken. That's fine. Okay, so gold puncture is annoying, but losing my maximum stamina is actually really punishing on this. Let's see, feathered spear? No. Reduce blood offering cost, extra perception. I might want to get rid of... Oh, no, that's nice. I want to actually get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Gleaming Sapphire. Plus three to all stats. No, I don't like that. Yeah, what I really want is any and all relics that increase my healing or max health. I need to be a tank boy. Uh, wow. If I go this way, healing is meaningless to me. Stats are good. We want the two relics. Maybe. Yeah, let's let's risk it on the relics. See, what did I think of Breach? Uh Breach. Are we talking into the breach or Which was Breach? I don't actually know if I recognize that game. Unless we're talking Brink, which was that bad Bethesda shooter thing. I've like totally ignored all of my basic weapons. This could actually go really poorly for me. Ow. Okay, lose the corruption? Yeah. Do I still have my just generic whip? I do. I do and it's fine. I don't need a fancy whip. I really don't like this baby. Okay. Okay, as far as places to go to fight, this ain't bad. There we go. Yeah, I more or less heal back up to full, as long as I don't take too much damage along the way. Ow. That didn't hurt too bad. I don't know what this room has in store for me. But I'm just going to break everything. So I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I don't I don't think I actually know about Breach. Uh, and judging by what's being said in chat, it was an Xbox 360 game. I didn't have an Xbox 360. That was actually... That's one of the only consoles I've never owned. Uh, nor do I even have a whole lot of compunction to own to be entirely frank like there were a couple there are a couple of really neat games that really justify the Xbox's existence on my end uh, but most of them are Halo like this temple. Uh, let's see. I'm not even going to go for the treasure find anymore. We're almost done with this run. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, what do I think of Wizard of Legend? Wizard of Legend, very similar to this. The big issue is Wizard of Legend's level design was garbage. Like, it showed too much. Cripes. Okay. I hate these swords, dudes. Because they have just enough of a weird delay on their attack that it makes them really difficult to uh, counter. Good to know, though, that I can cancel my, uh... My melee hits. I... That does chase me! That's not fun. Shit, I'm spending way too much time dodging this goddamn baby. I guess which enemy of this group I hate the most, and which enemy has, weirdly enough, the most amount of HP. How are you still alive? I thought I killed it. Because, yeah, I can't parry the baby, and dodging the baby is annoying. Let's restore just a shit ton of max HP. There we go. Anyway, so Wizard of Legend just always felt like it had rough level design. Because it was big, it was open. It wasn't very interesting to explore. There was no ambiance. It was just kind of... The All of the level design felt like Final Destination. Big and empty and perfect to wander around, but never... Never actually care about? Ah, uh, do I want to upgrade my damage by 712? 12 damage at the cost of a potential curse. Shit, yeah, why not? Because our biggest problem is killing the baby. This comes off as really weird. Okay, part part of the map transforms into unknown rooms. I could probably swing that. We can still get one more curse before she gets real bad here. Yeah, I think... I, full disclosure, I think the Eagle Temple is my least favorite. Just going through it is just that much more effort than the uh, Jaguar Temple. Flip side, I'm making this work. I was really expecting this whole, uh, take double damage thing to really hold me back. But we're not doing terribly. Uh, maybe the extra damage in darkness might have, might not have been a bad move. Nope, can't get anything there. You know, I almost never go this direction. Plus, also, ba the baby is 100% my least favorite anything. Whoops. Okay. I also don't like these guys. They're stupid. Latch onto you and just corrupt the hell out of you. It ain't... Ain't fun. Okay, you're summoning. Wasn't sure if they were about to attack. Wanted to prep a parry. Reduce blood offering cost? Nah, let's do some corruption. 
I can afford to take one more curse, but if it's a really bad one, we're in trouble, baby. I don't even care that it's not a champion. It needs to die. I digging parrying here. It's tough to pull off, but it's okay. Okay. That's what it is. This guy doesn't heal, he empowers. Okay, that hurt. Haha! <laughs> Crown of the Cursed King! 40 constitution, dexterity, and perception, well under the final curse. Let's switch out one for the other. Like, holy moly, yeah. But... Are you kidding me? Like, I could probably manage that with my current build, but I don't think I'd be able to get the, the final curse. Oh, good. It is champion, baby. Okay, it's gonna teleport. There we go. We're already back up to full health. Gain the dexterity. What are my stats at? It would effectively double my, my current stats. Yeah, I could let an orb pump me to full, but that would be risky. Yeah, I just, I don't think it's worth it. It's a neat idea. Okay, there we go. It really got to work on the constitu or constitution parrying. I... I'll come back to this with a parry build. I feel like that could be really, mostly good. Except for the baby. The yeah, longsword enemies are insufferable. They're just very aggressive. They have very long range. Decent chunk of health. And they're always paired with something else. That makes everything just slightly worse. Most annoying enemy you've ever fought. Freaking lightning babies. I actually don't know. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys with the triple shot is not great for me. How the heck does Wanda have so much HP? Uh... These are all boring. Like, the 12 constitution ain't terrible. That would almost be the one that I want to switch out. Let's keep going. There it is. That's what I was looking for. 
66% to all healing effects and a bunch of dexterity. Uh, let's see. Offer gold. Every com point gives HP. F yeah, 50 HP, I believe. Yep. Alright, let's go unknown, find out what this is. Could almost use a Healy Shrine, but I don't think we're gonna get that. Now, what are you? I don't know. One way or another. I got healing and damage for days. Which is helping a lot. Hello, is there anything else over here? Yep. Okay, you. Bye. Thank you. So I think this might just be a regular kind of adventure path. Nothing more. This Claymore is kind of OP. It's really risky, though. If you play bad, this Claymore, I Claymore is death. Right. Open up a safe spot. Okay, bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, baby. Alright, my damage is good enough to kind of carry me through here, which is great. Ooh. Yeah, very high risk, very high reward. I'm still stinking it up a little bit, which is something I want to work on, but there's only so much I can do. Nope, nope. Babies, get out of here! I think the biggest issue that I run into with this, with this game, is how easy it is to stun me out of a heavy combo. And like, just an errant hit from literally any enemy will do it. And it, it does feel like the Eagle Temple might have uh, some of the more, like, deviously designed rooms. Where not only do you have to contend with some of the more en annoying enemies in the game, you have to uh, do so well the, the traps really are just shooting at you constantly. Okay. Yeah, this would have been a spot to farm the final curse if I wanted to, and even then, I just don't think it's worth it. Alright, what's this? They're all bad. We leave. It's boss time. I've never even seen this boss. Who knows how this is gonna go? I hate you. Vengeance is mine. Watch the final boss just be one of these statues. Okay. I might be uniquely suited for fighting him. We'll see. Or I'm going to die horribly. I think part of the problem is... Okay. So he gets his slick counterattacks. But I do not get mine. Rude. Oh! Rude. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're beating him. 
Hey. I am straight up hitting the parry bu button. Okay, fine. That's a new one. If I can survive long enough. We have a good chance, but good lord. If the boss parries with his face, does like an immediate about face and hits you. I, I was right about the Eagle Temple needing parry skills. But yeah, that immediate attack after he heals is brutal. And, like, the timing window on, on his attacks is deceptive. It's... He has, like, a a long delay and then a very quick hit. And so you have to parry right at the end of the long delay. Otherwise, you get slammoed. Huh. Gain two perception every time you make a gold offering. That'd certainly be better than favor of Sashal. But yeah, I wonder I wonder if uh ranged weapons wouldn't actually do some horrible things to him. Cuz if you can master the parry, he becomes a joke. If you can't master the parry, then he is brutal. I don't know. Yeah, what does perception do? Every point of perception is a 5% treasure find. Uh which includes I think it's mostly gold. Yeah, pairing the boss didn't even seem to be worth it because he wouldn't have stopped from immediately winding up for another attack. Yeah, if you... I don't know. Okay, let's do one more. Let's switch this around. I'm going to turn that off. Let's grab Sashal's treasures and turn that on. And then wait. Yeah, the Jaguar boss is much easier to parry. Because the Jaguar has much easier to understand attacks. Like, the Jaguar the Jaguar just makes sense. I feel like the Eagle Temple is very much like... This is it, actually. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just point at some of these. Oh! New Daily. Escape from your worst nightmare. Eh, maybe. Uh, I was gonna say... Blood Hunter. This tree, Dark Souls. This tree, Bloodborne. This tree, Blight Town. Let's go to Blight Town. <laughs> 